What's up? Oh, shit. What the? Oh, damn. That burned the hell out of me. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Ah, it's burnt the hell out of my leg because the hot curler is like, I can't even explain it, but girl, listen. There's Ooh, nothing God. like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. everybody girl listen let me tell y'all it's hot it's hot when i say it's hot it's hot as hell outside 109 and getting even hotter honey like next week is gonna be even hotter so i'm like sitting here with this neck fan on because it does give me some comfort during those hot flashy moments but honey these things really don't work for the outdoors trust me when i tell you i did purchase this for going on walks in the morning in the summertime Girl, listen, if you love a good hot sauna air around your neck as you walk in, then you good. But it's perfect for like the indoor gyms. I get my workout on and still be cool, honey. So neck fan for indoors only. But anyway, I hope you guys are all having like a really great day. This video today should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Definitely if it's from Wow African. Y'all know who Wild African is. They're real popular here on YouTube. They are really popular. They have some really nice lace wigs. I have worked with them a numerous amount of times, girl. And they send one of their new news, their new units, which is the HD Clear Clean Headline. So clean hairline, excuse me. HD Clean Hairline, okay, lace front. And it's already bleached, already pre-plugged. Girl, all you gotta do is style it. Like, y'all already know, I be so busy. I, I do like to do nothing sometimes. And, um... Though I had to do a few things too this way, it beats having to bleach it, it beats having to wash it, and then style it. So I got a little a bit of a lazy day. Today's only one video today, and it's going to be featuring a wild African. So this is what I use to hot press my units. I did hot comb the edges. This is a nice, clean looking hairline. Do y'all see the color of this wig though? She is really pretty. I put some big curls in it, put my clips to hold it. You know, it already came with a middle part. Very pretty, like auburn, reddish brown color. And this is the hairline. So, I mean, it's still, even if you want to tweeze a little bit just to make yourself feel comfortable, then by all means, go ahead and do so. But we're going to try this on as is out the box. The only thing I did was put some heat to it. And that's it. So let's jump into this video, you guys. Um, hope y'all are all having like a really great day, like I was saying. It's burning up hot. This, this, this weather is ridiculous. When people ask me, what are the seasons like out here? You know, I always tell them like, uh, winter time is like fall. Springtime is like summer. Summertime is like H E double L hockey stick. Okay. And fall is like, I don't know. I guess there is no fall. Okay. It's just winter. There's no fall. Um, but Though I don't know what it feels like to be an H E W L hockey stick, I can only imagine if there's flames as an illustration of it. This has got to be like flames and heat because 115 in a few days is just ridiculous. So I try to alleviate all the heat that I can. And I'm so glad that this lace wig is lightweight. The lace is lightweight. It's already done for me, so therefore I don't have to be doing anything extra. So let's just jump into this and we're gonna get into a styling unit by Rock. Swear I never lied to you. Swear I never treat you bad. See, I would never do it to you. But you did behind my back. Swear I'll never smile for you. Swear I'll never be a fool.
wig so there are some things that I want to do to customize it to make it look like it's mine which is just thin out the little bit of size that I need to thin out not too much because like I said it has a natural clean hairline but not everything is for everybody honey and I just feel like because my hairline is thin I'm gonna try and make the wig look just as close I mean I don't want the wig hairline to look thin but I just want to get rid of some of the speckles right here and the gathered okay other than that, the wig is bomb. I think Wow African did a good job. And I'm really feeling the color a lot. This color is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I like the reddish brown because it matches a girl's freckles, honey. Like, it absolutely matches a girl's freckles. So now take a look at the lace on the side after I went ahead and kind of like customized it a little bit more to my liking. It is very clean. Like I said, it already comes bleached. It already has a clean hairline. You can bleach it a little more if you prefer to but honestly you really don't have to the part where you do see these little bit of knots is by the hairline like right dead smack on the hairline and I will tell you guys this one thing when you are bleaching a unit you want to make sure when it's right by the hairline that the bleach is not laid on heavy and it's the last portion to go like you don't want to bleach the hairline first you want to do that last and you want to be very light-handed when bleaching the hairline now, I do like to use these thread snip scissors to cut my lace, okay? You can use whatever you want, but I did have a little issue because I wasn't able to really see the lace like that. So I had to cut it in threes, like I always do, and then flip it up because, girl, it was kind of invisible. I'm just saying, Wow African did a really nice job on this unit. I was not expecting this at all. Okay, hunties. And I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. Only because when I recorded this video, I was damn near fresh out of my Aussie Instant Freeze. But you know, Amazon Prime, get your stuff on time, girl. Okay? Plus, also, I did want to use up the products that I already had. Girl, I got so much different hair care products from hairspray to hair gel to... Um, heat protectant to hair lotion i have a lot of stuff and i you know what sometimes you got to use up what you have so I'm, i am really trying to use up what i have before purchasing new stuff but i i did go out and purchase that aussie yeah i did okay but anyway the freeze blast works good you can put two to three layers on but in between spraying on the layers make sure that the hairspray does get tacky as you see right here i'm spraying on the second layer and i'm waiting until it gets tacky to the touch that's why you see me touching it it's shiny i'm going to pull the lace down and press it into my hairline the thinner lace like this does not need to be blow dried if you allow your hairspray to get tacky now if it's that old school lace front wig thick hate lace then girl you definitely gonna need a blow dry but for the thinner lace like this one here by wild african you can just wait until your hairspray or glue gets tacky and then just press into your 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 wig press into your lace you can use a rat tail comb like i'm using here just to press into the lace onto the, the tacky hairspray plus also with hairspray girl it's a super duper easy cleanup so that shiny forehead right there that i have right now will not be shiny in a minute after i clean it up you know just a little bit of wet cloth girl and you can wipe that extra hairspray residue away now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I always need sideburn hairs, okay? And maybe a little bit short, tiny, tiny, sparse baby hairs. That's what I tell y'all in the last video. I'm a sparse kind of girl. I don't like those thick, bang-like baby hairs. I am a sparse-like girl, okay? Sparse.
hairline. It looks really nice. See it? See what the sparse baby hairs will do for you? Now I have went ahead and put on my elastic band, headband thing, whatever, just to hold the hair down while I styled it. Came out nice. I could have deep conditioned the ends, but this is straight out the box, baby. Straight out the box. I didn't wash this wig. I didn't bleach it. I didn't do anything but what y'all seen on camera. And yes, I could have deep conditioned the ends, but for the most part, this wig is gorgeous. It goes nice with my long forehead. Look at that. Okay. Hello. This is a real nice one. Okay. Look at them sides, baby. Do it like it's your B day. So for one, it came out super nice. Like, look at the sides, you guys. Like, this lace really, really melted. It looks absolutely amazing. They do really good wig jobs or really good jobs on their units. So I definitely will give them a 10. This is something that you didn't have to bleach, pre-pluck. You know, I definitely, I wouldn't wear it straight out the box because I did want some curl to it. But for the most part, this is like a very natural looking hairline. Um, I did brush down some of my little sideburn hairs because I always need those. But do you see like it's the knots look decent on a scale of one to 10? Like I'm giving them a 10. Like, you know, I don't really give 10s, but only to special people. And Wild African definitely did their thing. This is one 13 by six. You can pull this up. Like, you know, since it's so meltable, you can put the sides up and girl, because it's so daggone hot outside. Me personally, I would probably put like a braid. Let's see. Get some closure. Stay right where you are and don't come closer. If you ever picked it up, it's over. You wanted her, so just give me what I deserve. So can I get some closure? Stay right where you are and don't come closer. If you ever picked it up, it's over. Run back to her, cause I got what I want, closure. So this is what I'm talking about. The hairline is amazing, nice and re realistic, nice and natural looking at the hairline. So it's thinned out. So you're able to do like multiple different styles in the unit because it's so hot, girl, this would be like a lifesaver for me to be able to just put two braids in the front and then rock it out still look cute. Nobody even knows you got on a weave. Don't ever know, girl. Girl, look, they never going to know. Look, I even got some little fake baby hairs, okay, because that's what they are. They small, they thin, they just a little bit to make it look like, you know, okay, girl, that's her hair. Yes, honeys, what? This came out really decent. I do I like the color. It's not too brown. It's not too dark. It's just like an in-between, which gives me, like, thoughts of it, like, being, like, a medium kind of, like, brown. Very pretty highlights and tones in, in it and such. Let me know y'all thoughts on the wig. Would you do it with the braids? Would you do it without? What type of hairstyles would you do with a perfect hairline, clean hairline, natural lace front? Girl, listen, okay. 150%, 13 by 6. And this is 20 inches, I do believe. These 20 inches, I swear you guys be looking like 22s nowadays. Back then in the days, 20 inches was right where 18 inches was. So I don't know, like... I'm just saying, but they did a really nice job on this unit. I'm glad that I didn't have to put so many baby hairs in it. I just wanted it to look just a little, like a little bit more like me because my baby hairs look like this when I do like a ponytail or any type of hairstyle. I always have like really thin ones because my hair and my edges are thin. So I didn't want anything too overbearing. Plus this looks like it's grown out of my scalp. This is a really nice unit. I give it to them. I will definitely give them a 10, A plus. Check out Wild African. I will leave all of the information down below. On that note, y'all already know I got to go and I will definitely see you what in another video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it, girl. I got to go. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Go, 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 go.